The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. This is the time of the week where Lady Adafruit shows you how to find the things you are looking for on digikey.com. What is a great search this week, Lady Ada? Okay, for this week, um, I was just chatting about how we're redoing a lot of our TFT displays and we're adding a little connector that will make it easy to add a flex FPC uh, to not require any soldering for attaching a TFT display to a project or a product. And so um, on the computer, I can go there. I designed this board that has uh, the FPC connector here and then it connects to a Raspberry Pi header. You can just plonk it onto a Raspberry Pi header. The ideally this would be fully assembled. No soldering is required. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, you know you, you plug it onto a Raspberry Pi or actually any single board computer with that two by 20 header. Almost all of them now have the same standard header, which is like pretty sweet. And then you would be able to plug in a TFT display. So like just less work, less wiring effort. I and mean, people are always kind of struggling with wiring. Um, so this will make it so, you know, the flex connector goes in, you're good to go. So this um, connector we use in a lot of our bonnets. So let's look at our bonnets. So for example, um, oh, this is a pack. Let's look, okay, so this voice bonnet's an example. So this bonnet, um, what we do is we like to use a slim two by 20 connector on the back. And <clears throat> the reason I like to use these slim style ones and they're SMT is one, if you're doing SMT, there's no hand soldering. Like it's even though these characters are like kind of chonky and like hand placing them, you know, sometimes is required They come on tubes. It's still a lot faster to place it and put it through the oven than it is to hand solder 40 pins, especially if you don't have a selective solder machine. So for, you know, or even if you do, it's it's a very labor intensive, it's a very messy process. So, you know, um, using these slim two by 20 headers is great. Um, let's see if I can see. Another thing that's nice is that you can have these plated holes up top and then you can actually stick a um, stacking header through so something like this, it's this extra long stacking header. These pins go through the SMT header and through the holes, like the SMT legs go out so that um, these long legs can go through. It means that you can stack multiple boards if you'd like, as long as there's no pin incompatibilities. Or you can probe or you can attach other accessories. I think the, um, the sense hat also did this if you look the sense hat similarly has a two by 20 connector what's interesting about how they did is actually they they to save on um assembly costs this header here on the bottom actually is through hole and it sticks through and uh you can kind of see the little the little pads maybe it's kind of tough to see maybe yeah, here you can kind of see, you can see the legs stick through and that's how it attaches. It actually saved a little bit of money because they didn't do a double-sided process. It's a one side process, SMT on the top, and then just somebody, before they package it, they stick a two by 20 header through, the pins go th you know, through the PCB, through the header, and make contact. And so it's actually quite mechanically strong. So um, it's another hack, again, to, to save money um, you know, a little bit less uh, assembly cost because a single, anytime you do single-sided, SMT is worth it. Only trade-off is, you know, SMT headers are gonna be more expensive than through-hole headers. They're not as uh, common. And um, again, you know, you, you, they often don't come in a tape and reel. You might be able to get them tape and reeled, but they often come tubed or bulk because they're just so long. So let's go to DigiKey and find this. So I want to find a uh, header. And uh, you know, this is the closest image. I do like the new image search. So it's a, it's called a female receptacle rectangular connector. Because I never quite remember the difference between like board to wire, wire, header, connector, rectangular. I just type in header and then I just click on the image that and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. That's what they call these. So there's like a quarter million different items, but we're gonna, we're gonna get through them very quickly. Um, so number one, we only really want active or preliminary. So we're going to select those. 
and we only want two row because we want the two by 20 connector. So let's apply and that'll, that'll cut it in half. Great. Next step is the number of positions uh, and we want 40. Remember it's two by 20. So the number of positions total is, is 40. And then um, number of positions loaded is going to be all. You're wondering like, why would you have sometimes not? Um, it's actually not uncommon for there to be one pin missing because it's the key pin. So like if you remember floppy drives, I think, or like IDE drives, they had one pin that was like um, filled in and that way you couldn't plug in the connector upside down. It's the only thing about IEC connectors is like it's kind of easy to flip them upside down. Um, but we want all of the, the connectors attached. And then how we look in. So yeah, these are looking pretty good. These are all through hole. So now, oh, here's one SMT. So now we want to find <clears throat> surface mount. So we want surface mount, not right angle. We want it to be pointing up. And then the pitch, oh, that's important. So we want 0.1 inch by 0.1 inch. So mating pitch is the pitch down the 20 connectors and the row pitch is the distance between, sorry, the row spacing is the distance between, but it's gonna be square 0.1 inch by 0.1 inch. Actually, we're already down to like only 500 options. So let's um, let's take a look. All right. So yeah, these are looking pretty good. This is so big, low profile, ultra low profile. A lot of good options here. Um, okay. So the next up, uh, some of these you have board guides. Next up, let's um, only look at normally stocking. Although I will say, actually, let's not look at normally stocking because actually there were a few um, things that we're not normally stocking, but maybe if the lead time is, you're willing to live with the lead time, it's worth it. Um, so the next thing is the height, the insulation height. So some of these are quite tall. They're the standard seven millimeters high. And remember, we want to actually have it be slimmer. So, um, you know, I'm not too picky about the height, but I definitely don't want it to be like the eight and a half that normally is. So I'm gonna say, you know, maybe 5.2 or less height. Um, you know, basically those those legs of the, the stacking header just have to make it all the way through. And then, um, you know, let's say we're gonna quote it at about 500 pieces. And we're gonna look at the options. So again, some of these are, um, they're not available, they're not in stock, but they are a little less expensive. This one in particular was like, it's kind of cheap and it actually looks pretty good, um, but it's not in stock and it has a lead time of uh, four weeks, I think, yeah. So, you know, the, the question is, you know, what, what's nice is that the price is low. It's like, you know, $1.28, which is a really good price for a 40 pin header, but they're not gonna have it in stock right now. So this might be something where you're like, okay, I'll, I'll for when I go into manufacturing, manufacturing, I'll get this, but for now, there's um, this one actually came up and there's, it's not, you know, not too expensive, it's a couple dollars, and um, it looks good. This one was uh, <clears throat> nice and slim. And uh, one thing I'll note is that you do watch out, it has uh, mounting nubs. Let me see if I can. You can see the mounting nubs here. Um, so there's two mounting nubs, which are actually not I, traditional. You know, I, I didn't normally used to have these on the headers, but um, now you see I have to make a little, uh, you know, there's a two millimeter hole. And so you see that it actually affects the size of the um, annular ring around my through hole that would go through. So instead of uh, having it be like this nice chunky annular ring, it's only a five millimeter annular ring. You know, it's a little bit close to the edge, but it's, uh, it's okay, I think it'll be fine. But um, the mounting posts are good because, um, especially if you're gonna have someone hand place these, it just makes it so they don't skew. You know, it's like once they sit in place, they're, they're good to go. So this one is actually pretty nice and you can tell it's definitely, um, hollow like you can see through it which is good that means those long pins will enter through and uh, exit at the top so this is my pick the harwin m20 781 and it's in stock right now
And that's the desk of Great search.